uh, let's take a look at our next story first, which is the fact uh, that President Joe Biden says he expects to hold a telephone conversation with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping in the next 10 days. He did not elaborate on the planned topics of discussion. Do you expect to talk to President Xi soon, sir? I think I'll be talking to President Xi within the next 10 days. Biden's comments come amid ongoing tensions between the two countries over the status of Taiwan. And the president cast doubt yesterday on a planned trip to Taipei by Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Delayed back in April, she's now planning to visit Taiwan next month. Mr. President, do you think it's a good idea for Speaker Pelosi to travel to Taiwan this summer? Well, I, I, I think that the military thinks it's not a good idea right now, but uh, I, I don't know what the status of it is. Taiwan is a self-ruled island that Beijing considers part of its territory. China has maintained that it seeks reunification with Taiwan as part of its One China policy. If she travels there, Pelosi would become the highest ranking U.S. official to visit Taipei since 1997. Meanwhile, the head of the CIA, William Burns, has revealed America's view on the impact of Russia's experience in Ukraine on China's calculations with regard to Taiwan. I think there again, I think the Chinese leadership is trying to study the lessons of Russia's invasion of Ukraine and what it tells them. I think our sense is that it probably affects less the question of whether the Chinese leadership might choose some years down the road to use force to control Taiwan, but how and when they would do it. Um, to, you know, if, if there's one lesson I think they may be drawing from Putin's experience in Ukraine is you don't achieve, you know, quick, decisive victories with underwhelming force. However, China's ambassador to the United States attempted to walk back his country's declaration of a no-limits partnership with Russia. The Chinese ambassador said that there had been a misunderstanding of China-Russia relations amid Moscow's assault on Ukraine, and he insisted that the China-Russia relationship is not any kind of an alliance. So let's return now to Weon's U.S. correspondent, Susan Terani, who is with us live from New York. Uh, I mean, Susan, and so we've got this planned call coming up between President Biden and President Xi, and it is presumably going to reveal whether uh, President Biden has now decided to alleviate some of those Trump era tariffs that are still in place on uh, many Chinese goods. Uh, I mean, that's a, a big move that President Biden could be about to take uh, with some pretty considerable implications. Absolutely. And this is something that he's been holding off uh, until right now. However, high inflation, according to experts, have, you know, caused a sort of uh, a kind of uh, pivot in his administration, as some are saying, to uh, prompt a possible look at the removal of these tariffs. Section 301 imposed by former President uh, Trump covering some $370 billion in Chinese experts, uh, exports, that is, excuse me. Um, removal of some of these uh, tariffs would also um, uh, bring into light new investigations into China's industrial subsidies and efforts to dominate key sectors such as uh, semiconductors. However, such a probe could also, on the other hand, lead, lead to more tariffs. Conservatives are concerned that removing these tariffs would help, uh, would hurt American workers uh, and businesses. It would also increase uh, already crippling trade deficits with China and also squander Washington's um, bargaining negotiation when it comes to property theft. So it's yet to be seen whether or not President Biden would go ahead and make the, these moves at a time when he's so unpopular here in the United States or whether or not he would go the route with high inflation and take this risk. We may know within the next 10 days. Susan Terrani, Weon's correspondent, live for us in New York today. Thanks for covering both stories for us on this edition of Weon Live Broadcast.